Um, so I thought I'll do kit one live, how to. Look at this. The thing is, I've got a fan right here. Um, so all of this is just going to keep looking random and weird and whatever. It is what it is, people. Do you know what I mean? Right, Lou's making a cup of tea. I'm trying to get these lights centered. Oh, I don't care. Uh, again, the window is open as always because I'm schwitzing, obviously. Look at this. Hooray! So, um, if you hear noise, you know what it is. It'll be sirens and all that kind of jazz. Now, I have kit one out in front of me. Um, I have some notes. Some of them are very relevant, actually. Um, oh, God, you're all talking to me. Just calm down with the questions, please. Calm down, Barbara. Right. Let me just get this. Because I also wanted to tell you something I've learned from the British Beauty Council in the last couple of days. That's just going to have to go behind my ear. It's going to drive me nuts. Um, are we looking forward to sweater weather? I know I am. Sweater weather. It's sweater weather. Okay, I've got my little sheet here. So I know what order to go in. And then if you've got any random questions, I just thought it's better to do it like this than doing it, filming it, uploading it, all that jazz, putting it on YouTube, blah, 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 right? So I thought if I do it here, then I'll do kit one today, I'll do kit two tomorrow, a Friday bonus live. Jordan, you can't ask a question, you have to wait. Um, and then they're done and dusted. Kippers and custard. Do you know what I mean? What do you want, Jordan? Hit me up. You could have just texted me, but what do you want? I'm waiting. And then next week, I'm going to tell you what's coming up. Come on, Jordan. Mm, he's all mouthy until you pull him up. He's my friend. Don't think that there's like a problem. Thanks, Mrs. Alex Forbes. Top's nice, thanks. She never pays me a compliment in the flesh. Jordan, are you going to ask me a question or what? No, I can't marry you. We're both married. Did I just sniff my tits? No, I was fixing my necklaces. They were a bit tangly jangly. I was like, when did that? I want to ask when we can go to Italy together. Oh, Bella, I really want to go. Why do people think I'm looking at my boobs? I wasn't looking at my boobs. I was fixing my necklaces, you savages. Right, shall we just crack on? He is getting me worked up. I would go to Italy with Jordan because that man knows how to eat a good pasta. Not our first rodeo. Hello, Adam. How are you? What do you want? Come on. Exactly. Okay, so I will go through the kits, right? Oh, okay. Yes, absolutely. Uh, let's. I was going to do like a another big post and a live in here, but yes, bow down to Lisa Potter Dixon, who has raised over fifty grand for Beauty Bat with her mystery bags. Um, so much money, in fact, that we were thinking we might rope her in, show us how she did it and any learning she has, and then maybe do our own. Um, and like go hard. Do you know what I mean, people? I'm talking suitcases. So that's what I was thinking. Um, let me just tell you what we're doing because people will be like, what, what's the topic? And they'll start asking me about their paws and I'll get the right ump. Right, kit one, how to. Do we hyphenate how to? I think I'm going to. How to. And then I'll put live in case anyone's like, what am I watching? Kit one, how to. That'll do. Thank you very much. Okay, so your kits have started shipping. Um, we reckon, I don't want to get you excited, but we reckon that they will all, including international, be shipped by early next week. Told you, I told you. Yeah, mystery suitcases, I'm serious. Mystery suitcases. So, um, yeah, mystery CH bag. That's what we're thinking. Because Lisa and Theo, her hubby, did amazing things in their front room. But I have an office and I have people and I have kids and teenagers that I can rope in to help. Do you know what I mean? I've got Max and Ava just sitting at home. I mean, they're never sitting at home, but they could be sitting here and wrapping 
and writing address labels. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, um, watch this space. So that's what I'm thinking. How big is the case? I meant case says. I did not say case. I said case says. Uh, your courier is for the UK's DPD. Um, this picture is so HD. Oh, does that mean you can just see everything? That's a good shimmer, actually. I haven't got any blusher on, you know. That's actually the temperature of my face. I know it looks like I'm wearing loads of blusher, but I'm not. I'm actually wearing concealer to sort of tone down the redness. I'm not wearing any bronzer. Hand to God, on my youngest child's life, I am not wearing any bronzer. This is my face. I am wearing a Clinique. I put on like a Clinique lip balm that I found in my bag. I'm really just not. And I've got mascara on, look. <laughs> Concealer mascara and a lip thing. Uh, when Lou comes in with the brew, Lou in the brew, I will ask her to find the Clinique thing. It's one of those Clinique thing with like all the bits in the middle. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, should we crack on? You just walked into a bin walking and watching this live. Can you be careful? <coughs> okay, how to. Now, we, um, it's gonna be really hard for me not to tell you things that are coming up, but I'm just gonna do it. Um, can you go back to darker tops for the sake of reading comments? Wait, how's that? <laughs> I'll fold up the bag a lot. So you will get your kit. Um, your bag looks like this. Uh, lip surge, I don't know. I'll, I'll show you when she comes in. Um, your bag looks like this. You've seen the inside. Massive and camo and you can wash it. So, um, yeah, the top is too light. I'm sorry, how's that? Well, at least now I know, don't I? I can still see the questions, don't worry. Um, so in there, you will have a cleanse off mitt. Now these, you know how to use, it's not difficult. Oh my God, stop going on about my, my top. I won't wear a white top again, I do apologize. I can't get this open, hang on. Yeah, the bags are neoprene, like neoprene scuba, that kind of material. So, So here is your cleanse off mitt. Now I just want to give you a stat that I got from the British Beauty Council. If I hold that there, you can read your questions all right? How's that? I'll just stick it to my phone, yeah? Now I'm just starting, mystery nails, worry ye not. Okay, how's that? Reading your questions? Lovely. Um, I got this stat from the British Beauty Council because they have done a think tank and commissioned um, a lot of stats, because as you know, the beauty industry, and it's very on topic, I'm not digressing for a change. The beauty industry is always um, criticised for packaging. Um, so they have done a sort of deep dive into it to see what the facts actually are. And I have some interesting facts for you based on wipes. The stripes are making you mental. Right, Lou, would you please get my makeup bag that I threw on the floor? Yeah. There's like a Clinique lipstick in it. Would yeah. you also get me the yeah, David Bowie t-shirt, please? Because they're complaining about my stripy top. I'm just gonna drape it across the tits. I'm here for you people, I'll do what you want. I've got no room for this tea. Right, so, um, ready for this? I will stop the comments, yes, and then I'll fix my boobs. Yes, quit complaining about her top. If I turn the comments off, there's nothing to see, is there? <laughs> How's that? Uh, every year, 120 billion units of packaging are produced by the global cosmetics industry. But wait for it. Britain alone. Just us. Just the UK. She's getting my bits. Use an estimated one... Is that billion? I think it's billion. One billion, 102 million... 822,000 wet wipes and 1.8 billion plastic stemmed cotton buds a year. Thanks, Lou. I just need the Clinique lippy. They're being very demanding and I'm gonna drape Bowie across my boobs, which is not something you'd heard me hear me say before. 
Right, you can have that back, my friend. Thank you so much. And then I'll just take that off the hanger. That way, if they keep cracking on at me. Don't mind me, I'm just getting dressed. How's that? Better? So, it is called Moisture Surge Pop Triple Lip Balm. Thanks, babe. And I'm wearing number one goji berry. All right. There. Um, I'm tempted to do a Katie Jane Hughes and sort of do that thing where she puts it on her cheeks and her lids. But if I do that, it'll look like I'll put a lipstick on my cheeks. It does look like a big, a bib, and it's too hot. So you're gonna have to suffer. Um, there was my Bowie t-shirt, by the way. Let's just get it out of the way. So, bearing that in mind, bearing that in mind, uh, yes, 1 billion, 102 million, 822,000 wet wipes a year in the UK alone. I'm gonna hold this up here to appease your eyes. Oh, I look naked. Um, 1.8 billion plastic stemmed cotton buds. So on that note, oh, here's my brew, a brew from Lou. That was my Clinique lipstick. I hope you're all happy with yourselves. I don't know what colour it is. It's called goji berry. I don't know what to tell you people. Um, right. <laughs> she says, cleanse off mitt, which is basically, come on, take it off. Okay, I'm going to turn this off for a minute. So I can just talk you through a few products and then I'll turn it on. Um, you can use this without cleanser, which is why it's in a summer kit. If you're travelling, you're on an airplane, you're in an airport, whatever. Uh, you don't have to only use it when you're travelling, obviously. Um, but it also works with cleanser. Okay, so that's your cleanse off mitt. It's very simple. Chuck it in the machine when you're done. Jen says that you actually can just wipe it down with antibacterial soap and because of the texture of it, it will be safe and clean. I just chuck it in the machine with anything pink. Usually mine are neighbors' knickers. All in together, beautiful. Make yourself a bit higher now. You lot are messing with my juju today. Right, Ren. Perfect canvas. I am gonna turn comments on. You're just gonna to have to live with it. You don't have to look at them, look at my face. Look into my eyes, look into my eyes. Um, this, <laughs> this is suitable for all skin types. Um, if you are extremely acneic, you will need to emulsify this before you take it off because it will be too much to take it off with a flannel. You'll knock off sort of active spots. That makes sense? Um, your consistency, in case you don't, you don't know what to look for. You know I haven't bought a towel in. I've got wipes though. Your consistency is that. Oh God, I love this smell. Just give me a minute. Now, I do not emulsify anything. I don't like emulsifying. Um but you can, if you add water to this, it turns milky and you can wash it away, okay? Um, I will always use a flannel, obviously. Uh, any questions on the Bren while we're here? How would I describe the smell? It's like soft, it's like soft, it's like something you put on a baby, I think. Yeah, it's like soft. It's not vanilla-y, but it's in that family. It's not vanilla. Don't worry if you don't like it. Mm. But yeah, it smells amazing. It smells divine. I think it does smell divine. I I believe the marzipan smell. This does not smell like marzipan to me. I fucking hate marzipan. It smells like licorice to you. Marzipan, it doesn't smell like marzipan to me at all. I hate marzipan. Now you're confusing me. It's not cherry. Oh, leave yourselves. Right, I'm going to stop. <laughs> um, it is a 100 mil. It will last you for ages. Yeah, like baby lotion. I think so. Um, the Ren cleanser is Ren Perfect Canvas Clean, Clean Jelly Oil Cleanser. I've done one product with 17 minutes in. Give me a break. Um, 
I hate marzipan. I hate almond and marzipan. I like almond milk, but not marzipan. It's disgusting. Christmas cake. <laughs> it's not nice, is it? First or second cleanse. It will destroy makeup and SPF. Um, I will... I kind of prefer a morning cleanse or a second cleanse because I kind of like the feel on my skin. I don't like emulsifying because I, uh, I don't like the feel and I prefer to massage. You get a much, much better massage movement if you keep it without water. You can add a bit of water to a teeny bit of water to make it move around your skin. And then when you come to take it off with a flannel, you're gone. And I'm not a splasher. I'm not some big ad for Neutrogena. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm not. Uh, I have a feeling, I wanna say this is 24 or 28 quid. I think it's 24. I haven't got the prices because we put them all in a kit for you and made them super affordable. <laughs> um, Ren gives good size samples when you order it. Yes, it does. So this is your first cleanse, second cleanse, splash and dash. I'm not a splash and a dasher. Is the texture similar to the Jordan Samuel cleanser? Similar. S this feels slightly oilier on the skin, I would say. 25 pounds. Thank you so much. Good to know that my brain is working. Oh, a brew. Yes, you can use it around the eyes. It does not sting my eyes. Couple more questions and then we're moving on. Hmm. It leaves skin very smooth, not dried out. There you go. By the way, I, oh, it'll last ages unless you're heavy handed with it, but you don't have to be because a little goes a long way. Do not be heavy handed. Do you know what I'm going to do? While I, when I've done them, I'm going to put them in the bag. Um, when, um, I forgot what I was going to say to you because I'm trying to reach questions. Okay, yes, there's no Sunday Riley site news. I don't think it's going to be next week. So you're just going to have to hold on. They had a problem, something to do with deliveries and obviously uh, what can you do? It's COVID. So, um, but I will definitely, it's going to happen, but you'll have to just wait. And I promise you, I'll let you know as soon as I let you know. What tea am I drinking? I'm drinking Clipper Decaf. Random. Um, love pear drops. I love pear drops. I apply it on dry skin. Yes, I apply on dry skin. So you take, you know, like a dollop, just a small dollop. Do this. Don't do this for half an hour. You're cleaning your hands. Do this. Go straight to where you're wearing the most makeup, which is usually eyes, if you're wearing mascara or anything. All around the eyes, all over, literally like windscreen wipers, da 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 da. Then you can add a little bit, a little bit of water, just to help it so it doesn't really emulsify, you just get a bit more slip, and then massage again, and then your flannel, okay? Marvellous. Um, hello, Fred and Noah, how are you? topic irrelevant what nail color are you using uh marshmallow light elegance but it's coming off tomorrow they've gone way too long they're growing like they're like proper talons and i can't use my phone properly and it needs to go um they're coming off and i'm going neon i'm having neon okay uh what is next marco's next my favorite italian kind of i'm also a fan of rocky balboa What's the best way to massage when using cleansers? Okay, I'll show you that in a sec. Uh, wet flannel, yes. So you run your flannel or your cleanse off mitt under the, a warm tap. Not hot, not cold, warm. If you're really hot, you can use cold water if you want to. So run it under the tap so it's like damp dry and then you literally take it off, spin it and go back up and do it twice if you need to. Okay. Now I'm getting hiccups. Zellens, PHA pads. Do we like these? I bloody love them. So does Ava and so does Max. I'm like, why, why are you using my things? I want to be a generous mother, but no. Um, why do we have to cleanse our face in the morning if not oily and don't use heavy products at night? Because everything that you are putting on your skin at night is designed to resurface your skin and help it sort of shed almost. So you kind of just want to get it off do you know what I mean this is an order of use yes there are 50 pads it is polyhydroxy acid um 
don't know why I'm smelling them. It smells like an acid pad. Moron. Uh, polyhydroxy acids. So it won't make you um, light sensitive. Glycolic is really the only acid that makes you sensitive to the sun. Um, I don't double cleanse in the morning. Sometimes I will go in twice with the flannel though, because it just feels better and it wakes me up a bit. Um, so yes, these are for daily use. I'm just gonna start answering your questions. Yes, they are for daily use. Um, they are, I have no clue how I ended up here. Big X in the top corner, my friend, knock yourself out. Why would you wanna clean your face in the morning? Oh, why would you not want? Well, yes, quite. Can you use these alongside tret on non-tret days? Um, you can. Just be careful in areas where it's sensitive, i.e. here and kind of at the sides of your mouth. If you've got the tret too close and then you put this on, it's going to sting like a mofo. Just so you know. Uh, you can jump in straight with these. You can jump in straight. You don't have to sort of... I mean, you can if you want to. You can use them every other day, every second day. But you will they're not going to be as i mean they're just not irritating full stop uh you can use them alongside other acids but you don't need to do you know what i mean like why would you don't go overboard am or pm um, i wouldn't use both personally what does marco say i'm sure he probably says i'm sure he says once a day but let me double check where does it bloody say it morning and or evening after cleansing yada 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 so it's up to you. Uh, yes, you can use, no, Pixie Glow Pads, no, they're 20%. They're too strong. Uh, I, when you're avoiding the eye area, shall I just show you? Hang on. Um, they look like this. I always get them like that. You rub, rub quite hard. Rub, rub, cheek, mouth, all around the mouth and the lips, and then neck, like that. Spin it and go again, all the way up. I'm saving that, I'm not binning it. <laughs> um, suitable for all skin types. Uh, I wouldn't put it on perioral dermatitis, it would be so stingy, so stingy. Can I use, even if I use a PHA oil cleanser daily? Yes, you can. Tret is a prescription strength vitamin A. Uh, would these be good for clearing skin more than similar to Pixie Glow Tonic? These are far more sophisticated. Pixie Glow Tonic is an alcohol-free, um, witch hazel is their preservative system. So it's in an aloe vera and witch hazel base. It's 5% glycolic acid, and these are completely different. They have every other acid except glycolic. So not all acids are, are made equal. Do you know what I mean? Um, Zellens pads alongside Dermatica in the AM when you have Dermatica in the PM. Now that depends on your skin and how used to Dermatica you are. Just gonna put it out there. Um, they stay wet, but a top tip is to store them on your dressing table upside down. And that way, all the juice drops down when you flip them over, take out one, and that will be nice and wet. Um, so, Dermatica, I would go easy. And of course, Dermatica doesn't mean Tret. Dermatica, you could be using Adapalene, you could be using Niacinamide, you could be using Azaleic Acid. So, I would just go easy. So if it is, I would, I personally would only use them once a day, personally. Um, let me just get rid of that perv. I mean, I'm honored, mate, but I'm old enough to be your grandmother. Um, I think one a day is sufficient. And also I'm a bit cheap and it makes them last longer. <laughs> so they are going to answer, they're gonna, they're gonna last 50 days instead of 25 days. Yes, you can use witch hazel when you're pregnant or trying, and yes, you can use these when you're pregnant or breastfeeding. The ordinary glycolic was too strong for you, would these be okay? Yes. Uh, like I said, morning, you're saying morning and night, I would just do it once. Um, I got yelled at by a friend for using the Thayer's original witch hazel. <laughs> I'm not surprised. How do you feel about witch hazel? I don't mind it. Used in the right way, in the right formula. Um, but I wouldn't. All my lives are always saved. Yes, I go over the lips. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Just be careful. Can you cut the pad in half? See, that's my problem. You can cut the pad in half, obviously, if you have a small pea head. Look at the size of my head. The Zellens discount is 30% and these are 60. 
you know what I mean? So yes, all over your face. Now, any questions about cleanse, tone? Have I still got champagne in the mug? No, it's very much tea. Are PHAs more suitable for sensitive skin compared to others? Yes. Should you rinse your face after using these? No. You use Dr. Glycolic today and your skin is a bit tight. Is that normal? Yes. Oh, 65 pounds, I think. Do you not like Thayer's? Um, no, the, to my knowledge, I can't remember, but I have a feeling the Thayer's Witch Hazel, it's either in an alcohol base or it's like a lot of, a lot of Witch Hazel and not much else, which is actually quite drying. Um, okay, can we move on? You have a pea head. Well, good, because I don't. I have a pumpkin head. So, do I wait to apply serum after using these pads? I can't be bothered. Who has the time to wait? We'll be dead soon. Wipe, spray, crack on. Store the container upside down. Yes, that's what I said. Do you have to wait? No. Um, do I take these pads all the way to the decollete? Well, yeah, I mean, I, when I say decollete, I kind of stop here. I don't actually go to my boobage. Would it be irritating if I use the DDR pads? You mean Dr. Dennis Gross? You wouldn't need, you wouldn't need Dennis Gross and Zellens. Oh, hang on. A lot of witch hazel, no alcohol in Thayer's, right? So then, I mean, witch hazel is really, really for, at its core, in big doses, um, a really, really oily skin. And if you're not, it's just too much. You don't need it. Um, Hang on, look, okay for Asian skin tones, 100%. Uh, everything in both kits is good for all skin tones and all skin types, just so you know. Uh, use pads with vitamin C, yes you can. What about these AM and P50W and PM? No, I wouldn't. P50 is kind of, you just wanna use it on its own. You just wanna use it on its own. Any reusable cotton pads recommendations? Yes, I'm looking at getting some but they do sell them on Amazon. Well, don't they sell everything? Um, good point, Kooky Mama. What did Kooky Mama say? Do I need to look? Do you mind, bus? Would you use the Zellens pads instead of Pixie Glow Tonic or can you use both? Don't use both. Don't use more than one acid. Calm yourselves. Don't use more than one acid. We're not the Grateful Dead, okay? Um, can this be the only acid I use? Yes. Uh, other than BHA 2%, uh, how would you, would you recommend you apply vitamin C? Well, I do. I apply my vitamin C after I've used an acid. Um, can I use DDG pads on alternate days? Yes, you may. Thank you for asking, for permission. Um, is the Zellens code still valid and what is it? Yes, I can't remember, it's all on the blog. I updated the blog today with all of the brand's top three or four products and their codes are still on there. Can these pads help with maskne? Yes, they can. Shelf life once opened, um, everything's like 12 months, 18 months, what's this? Oh, this is six months, there you go. That's six months and Ren is nine months. Um, DDG versus these, which are more gentle. Zellens is more gentle, but DDG does a gentle version, which are also glycolic free, also spectacular. Um, the Sunday Riley site is not up. Zellens AM and Ren Ready Steady Glow PM. I just don't go crazy. Sirens with Hirons. You're welcome. Keep going. Thank you. Um, yes, the Zellens code is international. Um, getting dizzy, you're getting dizzy. Hello. Would you not use the first aid beauty pads with other acids either? No, because one acid is enough. One acid is enough. Okie dokes. Right. I'm necking this and we're moving on. Oh. oh, lovely. How long should I wait after using the acid pads before applying retinol? A few minutes. A few minutes. Um, the DDG pads from the last kit are lush. They are lush. DDG with Dermatica every other day. Yep. Um, what will the Zellens pads do for your skin? Exfoliate, hydrate, brighten. Is there any guidance in the kit? No, the guidance is on the store and on the blog post where we announced the kits were live. There is a downloadable ebook, which is this. So all of this you can download and all of this is in there. 
Okie dokes. Okay, right. Um, Emma Hardy. Mist. Now, this is a... Um, like a... It's like a treat to yourself. Yes, it's milder than Exfoliate. Um, the others. Oh, these are strong as Dr. Glycolic. I can't remember. I don't know what the strength is of Dr. Glycolic. Uh, Kate's Exfoliate is stronger. Salicylic Acid AM, Glycolic PM. Only really if you've got like really challenged skin. Otherwise, just do it once. <laughs> the kits have sold out. This is for people who are, have ordered the kits and are receiving them. Hiram's 30 Summer is the Zellens Code. Thank you so much. Is the mist glittery? No. Know your audience, guys. Come on. I don't do glitter. And you don't even have to shake it up. It's just a habit. Okay. Plump and Glow Hydrating Facial Mist. Looks like this. Actually. Oh. Um, I'm just letting that. Dr. Glycolic Pads are 6.5. Um, then I think Marco's will be stronger. I think. Um, acid in the morning or evening better? Right, last question on acid. I would do it in the morning if you're going to do a vitamin A in the evening and I'd do a retinol or a vitamin A in the evening. Um, it doesn't smell like the cleanser. It smells... I mean, it kind of has that kind of smell. I mean, it's, it's just gorgeous. So you do your acid and then you mist. Now you can also, obviously, I literally sprayed half a ton on my face. You can also obviously use this throughout the day. You can use it after you've done your makeup. You can use it over or under your makeup. You can use it as and when you absolutely want to. Okay, can we see the contents of the lot even if we didn't manage to buy? Yeah, yeah, I'll do you a big roundup at the end. So this is Lush. Um, you will like. And yeah, keep it on you. And if you are a lady of a certain age, and you are partial to a little bit of flushing, this is immense. Um, it is also all the usual protection and anti-pollution and all that, but you know what I'm like, I'm like, yeah, whatever. If you're wearing SPF, you've already got anti-pollution. So let's not try and make people think that saying anti-pollution just to get someone to buy it is a new thing. Do you know what I mean? Will you do skincare kit just for skin of color? No, but I'll tell you why. I'll tell you for why. What's your name? Bally Haya? Uh, because you can use everything. And I wouldn't put something in a kit that a black skin couldn't use because it wouldn't be inclusive. But you can use everything that I'm talking about. Why am I spending an hour trying to get this back in the box? Why don't I just put it in and move on? Done it now. Um, so do we like the glow? I'm not wearing any makeup. I'm wearing concealer, mascara, and that lip balm. Love you saying lush. It's very Welsh. Oh. The kit two live is tomorrow. Yes. Do you have to reapply SPF after the mist? No. Uh, if you soak your face, obviously, going to give the mist to your mum. If she's my age, she'll be most appreciative. On your palm and pat so it doesn't flatten your hair when you spray. Oh, sod that. Just hold your hair and spray. Who has time? There is an Emma Hardy discount on the web. Um, is it better than the Queen of Hungary mist? Well, I think so because Queen of Hungary is just a water. This is a spray with things in it to make you glow. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I would think so. Would it make a difference if I use products aimed at men? No. They would smell more masculine, whatever you would claim that to be. What do I have on my brows? Nothing, they're just my brows, look. Nothing. Bit of cream, actually. Nothing, they're just my eyebrows. Nothing. Uh, will the winter kits have products from black owned businesses? Autumn! Don't forget we got autumn first, autumn does. Uh, Dermalogica eye cream. Now, eye cream. Biolumin C. Do we like? Any of you tried this yet? It's okay, I'll wait. Um, this is, um, and you save money buying men's products. <laughs> Some of them, yeah. You're making copious notes. Hmm. Well, I'm going to put it up live afterwards. It'll be up on IGTV. Um, this is just a really lovely eye cream now to apply see this there we go hang on there it comes see there we go 
I'm going to do a teeny bit because I put concealer on so I didn't scare small children. So I'm only going to do that. I would do, I'd be quite heavy normally, right? I'd be quite heavy. And I'm only doing this this way so that you can see it on the skin because, like I said, I'm wearing concealer. Oh, I'm going to be, people are going to come in. I didn't get my brows done anywhere. They're my brows. I do them. And I'm old enough, I'm older now, so I don't, I don't have to tweeze anywhere because they stop growing. So I get the odd big hair here and that's it. Now, this is suitable for all skin types. It is brightening. You would use this AM and PM. I'm going to give you more info on the autumn kit next week once we've got the lives out the way and I've discussed all of this. Is it okay for people who've had been sent, sent them into vitamin C before? You would have to try. There is no way of knowing. I would patch test it. Don't patch test it near your eye. Patch test it kind of on your neck and maybe on your sort of jawline here and see how you go. You've got a massive reaction to it. Oh, how? You know, I would go all the way around, 100%, go all the way around the eye like that. Um, I'm wearing Vichy Derma Blend Concealer. Oh, and a little bit of the Glossier Stretch Concealer. So what will start to happen is that I'll start to go where I need to blend. I'm just looking. That is a glow, isn't it? That must be that Emma Hardy. Uh, are you not getting lash extensions anymore? No, I'm gonna get them tinted though. Um, so this isn't brightening in the same way that Sunday Riley is. Sunday Riley is autocorrect. Uh, also has the um, instant gratification. So it has instant gratification so that you immediately get a glow and then it starts to work in the background. Um, this will help with puffiness, yes, and darkness. Uh, shall I read it to you? Supercharged vitamin C eye serum. Outsmarts visible premature skin aging caused by daily eye movements and environmental stress. Lightweight serum with nutrient dense, yada yada long names, highly bioavailable vitamin C complex to the skin around the eyes to dramatically brighten and visibly firm. And yes, I would put them on the lids. There's nothing on my cheeks, it's my pink cheeks. Literally, I'm not wearing any makeup, I'm wearing concealer. Now, let's do this. Um, medicate is in both. So I'll be repeating myself tomorrow, that's fine. Um, I don't know about Sunday Riley. I will tell you when I know. Is 20 too young for an eye cream? I didn't use an eye cream till I was older. Uh, I don't know if I'd do a lift. I'll just do a tint on my lashes. I can't be bothered. Um, Medicate. Now, the new name for CE Tetra Upgraded Formula. There you go. Uh, lipid vitamin C antioxidant serum. Looks like this. Uh, do I need the pads? Did I need the pads? Did I buy them? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so this is your Medicaid. Uh, you are going to use this every day. Trini says eye cream is a waste of time. Just use moisturiser. Take me notice of Trini. When I start talking to you about fashion, talk to me about what Trini says about skincare, yeah? Get right back in your lane, Trini. I'll be calling her after this. Yeah, and then she doesn't do it, but then she like derma blades, derma blades, derma rollers are bloody eyes. I love her to death, but no. Um, I will do a run through at the end if you haven't, if you've missed things and it will go up afterwards, don't worry. Now this, the main ingredients are lipid vitamin C. Lipid means it's fat soluble. So lipid vitamin C, optimized red ginseng, maracuja oil, uh, vitamin F and vitamin E. Um, supercharge your morning routine. Uh, with sea tetra intense and effective yet non-irritating and now people who are saying they break out with vitamin c you will just have to patch test it you're going to have to patch test it and then we'll see how you get on um but i wouldn't if you know you've broken out with vitamin c before i personally would not just go in heavy-handed and whack it on your face and think oh it's different so it doesn't matter it might matter there's no way of knowing now what oskia oh, oskia excuse my french because someone asked me about the oskia um, what Medicaid do is, can you see they've got dosages on the pipette? Oh, don't waste it, Hirons. Can you see? So, uh, you can literally just pipette until you get what I think works out to 0 0.2 mils, which means that this will last you 60 days, two months. 
Right, looks like that, quite runny. Oh, lush. Oh, lush. I'm not going to waste this. Where should I put it? I'll put it in my neck. <laughs> I can't keep loading everything on because I've got other stuff I want to show you. Okay. Oh, hands and arms. It's not sticky, no. It's like a really, really light oil. Medicaid is the only vitamin C that hasn't broken me out. Uh, for someone who hasn't used vitamin C, blah, 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 I patch test on the wrist. I would, I would do it closer to your face, if that makes sense. Um, so, medicate AM and PM, or just AM or just PM. Uh, if you're using a TRET in the evening or a really strong retinoid, use this in the morning. If, however, you had a lazy morning and you just chucked on a... Um, Let's see, let's say you just washed your face and threw on a moisturiser. You can also use your vitamin C in the evening as reparative. It doesn't just have to be a morning thing, actually. Let's just smooth down the hair, shall we? With a really expensive skincare product. Do you know what I mean? Oh, that's attractive. Um, vitamin C can oxidise the comedones, which is why people, they get more black like blackheads. No. Relax. Does it stain clothing? Oh, well, I hope not because I've just rubbed it all over my top. So you'll find out as I sit here. But no, not to my knowledge. Can you use it after an acid toner? Yes. Oh, I've made myself look tragic. <laughs> um, so, brilliant vitamin C. Brilliant. I love it. I love a vitamin C though. So when people sort of start saying, you know, like the whole thing about, oh, I'm not sure about uh, vitamin C okay during chemo. Uh, to my knowledge, yes. And that's why when I did the chemo section in the book, I'll tell you who fact-checked me, Marco Lenz fact-checked me. Imagine the terror, imagine the terror of writing a section on chemo and what you can and can't do, and then sending it to a melanoma specialist. I was like, Marco, can you check this for me, please? Because I know you'll just tell me it's useless. It is okay. <laughs> Not like, you know, oh, well done, you nailed it. It is okay. I'm like, thanks, dude. Because if it needed to change, he would have changed it. Um, so yes, you can, but you, the thing with vitamin C is if you're having chemo, you're more likely to be really, really dry. And if you are really, really dry, uh, vitamin C can sometimes sting. So I would, with chemo, vitamin C is fine for lupus. With chemo, I would be much more aware of repairing your barrier with some of the product that's coming up. And then thinking about vitamin C once you've built up your skin again. Because chemo, I'm, on, I'm only doing kit one today, kit two's tomorrow, because chemo basically kind of destroys your skin. So I would go easy. And also anything I say, if it, if it doesn't match with what your oncologist says, ignore me, please happily ignore me. Uh, you can use niacinamide with vitamin C, it's a fallacy. Relax, you absolutely can. You absolutely can. Oscar is the only C that didn't sting like boiling holy water. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a minefield, all the skincare. Yeah, but you've got your guide. You can download this. You've got your guide. Uh, you get confused with barrier. What do you do to repair it? Well, you use minimum products. You keep it nice and clean. Um, I don't mean clean product. I mean, you keep your skin clean. Um, you're really gentle with it. You don't use anything. You'll know if your barrier is damaged. I'll tell you in a minute. You're really gentle with it. You use... Um, good sort of good moisturizers you use um there you go you use zelen's z oil in the evening and it keeps my skin okay during chemo well i send you my best uh also marco's vitamin d his vitamin d oil if you know someone who has lupus the lupus rash or is going through chemo or any kind of treatment because obviously there are treatments that are akin to chemo then Oh my God, do you know what? There's one way you're not gonna get me to do something on YouTube and promote you. It's to come in and interrupt me in the middle of a live. Get off. Um, they're all sold out. Both kits are sold out. Um, so yeah, chemo wise, just see how it feels and then go from there. But if your skin is dry, tight, cracked or burns, then your barrier is your barrier is compromised. Okay, help. Zelen's Power D has been incredible. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, 
Okay, I'm moving on because it's already 17.47 and I've got five products left. Um, hyalamide. Now, this is not just a hyaluronic acid. Um, this is visibly targets, ready? Surface hydration, below surface hydration, fine lines, wrinkles, dynamic lines, and textural irregularities. Um, this one is um, what you can, you can do two things. You can, and this again depends, like everyone says, oh, there's hard and fast rules. There's not. So if you have your C and your hyalamide, you can use them together or you can use either one first, give it a couple of minutes and then put the other one on. My instinct is always to put a vitamin C on my skin first, okay? That's me. Then I would put something like a hyaluronic on top so that it bonds with your moisturizer, right? That's how I would do it. But there is no hard and fast set way. You could do these two in the morning, that's more than enough. You could do these two, that's more than enough because you can also make sure that you are letting your product last longer. So yeah, it depends on your needs. I'm running out of Neod MMHA. Can, you, can I use this in place of? Yes, you can absolutely use this. Textual irregularities is what made me go back and buy kit one as well as kit two. There you go. <laughs> um, can I find that product in the States? This one, I'm pretty sure they're in the States. Pretty sure. Um, let me just move you down to get your questions. You've got the Hylamide and TK Maxx Rogue one day and used it all up. Yes, it's very good. Medicate Calm Wise has been amazing for your periol dermatitis. Exactly. So there's things like Calm Wise, there's Dermalogica's Barrier Repair, there's a Venn maker range called Psychoplast, and they're more affordable. They're French pharmacy. They're really good at barrier repair. So if you're still thinking about what you can use if your skin is itchy and irritated, that's the way to think about it. Um, so if you're going to use this first, I would whack this on on top and then use a moisturizer, but you don't have to use them together. That's the whole point. Um, I'll show you how this looks and feels. Can I talk slowly, please? No, I'm from Liverpool. It doesn't happen. Right, I haven't done Mother Dirt yet. No, don't worry. So, there. Gone. We've had the conversation about the top. I won't wear it again. Don't worry. Please don't go on about me about my sodding top. You don't need to read their comments. I'm telling you what I'm answering. Relax your eyes. Um, oh, yeah. So, there you go. You're in California and you love Sub-Q. There you go. Right. So that is your hyalamide. So you've got two serums. Is shedding normal when using a retinol? 100%. This is going on YouTube. Yes. Worry ye not. Can you do a blog on barrier repair? Um, I can, but it'd be very, very short and sweet. But you could also buy the book. There's a massive section on barrier repair in the book. <laughs> is it sticky? No, look. No tackiness, no stickiness. Um... Mother Dirt moisturizer, six ingredients. Can the Desium serum be a moisturizer? Yeah, if you're really, um, if you're really, um, combination, um, greasy, all that kind of thing. Thank, can you find the book in bookstores like Barnes and Noble? Oh yeah. And send me a picture in there, please. Thanks. Um, Mother Dirt, six ingredients. Ready? Squalane, caprylic, capric triglycerides, linoleic acid, phytosterols, phospholipids, and tocopherol. Hello, Stuart. How are you, babe? Um, this is really, really simple, but really, really good. So this is also good with barrier repair. Uh, yes, your hyalamide dries really nicely and really quickly. How long to wait in between laying all these products? as long as it takes you to get it on your hands again. Um, so now this is what's going to look different to you. So you know you're waiting for a moisturiser. Yeah, this is not your average moisturiser. Any products here to avoid if you have skin cancer? Oh, a skin cancer scar, I do apologise. No, you're fine. Now, this is your moisturiser. Watch this though. This is what it looks like. Oh! 
Hello, Miss Jemassa's husband. Now, that teeny bit. Uh, you can get Mother Dirt in Whole Foods and on Amazon, I believe. Well, you used to be able to get it in Whole Foods and on Amazon. Now, imagine how long that's going to last you. Um, look. There we are. So that is why... Oh, just finding my cloth. Um, that is why I'm talking about barrier repair and a teeny bit. You do not need a lot. And yes, my book is on audio. If you get audio, you have to listen to the outtakes. They are after the credits at the end, and I didn't know they were putting them in. You have to listen to the outtakes. There's a lot of bad language. Don't listen to it with kids around. Um, <laughs> so, no, there's no silicone. That is your moisturizer. Mother Dirt is okay for oily skin. That's why I put it in kit one. But just remember, you just need a teeny bit. Okay? A teeny bit. Don't go in and be like, woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Calm yourselves. Okay? Uh, no, there is nothing on the market like the Mother Dirt Mist. Sorry about that. Um, so that's your moisturizer. And I'll come back and do another round robin. Now, the extras. These were the add-ons. There's no fragrance in Mother Dirt. It's fragrance-free. Uh, these are the add-ons. I'm just going to turn my page to make sure. Oh, Content Beauty, of course. Yes, Content. Content Beauty in Marlebone. And online, I think they're, they might be being content online from memory. They also do Mother Dirt. The outtakes are hilarious. Yeah, thanks for that. Oh, hang on. Oh, just rescuing a pen that I stabbed myself in the foot with. Okay. Uh, day and night. Yes, your call. You wouldn't need to use Mother Dirt Moisturiser at night if you were using Luna, for example, okay? But let's do Shantikai first. Now, anyone use this before? This was in my, if you remember, this was in my Space NK box. Uh, when did I do that? Earlier this year? Yeah. What's wrong with my brain? Fix this. Um, this is wicked. All skin types all skin conditions you can sleep in it you can put it on and then take it off totally your shout looks like this uh, this one's already opened so when i worked for shantikai they did some like rebranding february thank you they did some rebranding and then a lot of um a lot of their products came and all their lipsticks came with a big fat c on them i was like Thanks so much. Right, I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna put some of this on, just make life easier. Sorry, I didn't show you the, what it looks like. Super bright white, super bright white. Can you use the mask on perioral dermatitis? Yeah, you can. Where should I put it? Let's do, I'll just do my forehead, bang it in the middle of my forehead. I'll do that and then people will come on and I'll just, I'll show you what it looks. Now, when you get to like that, I would leave it. <laughs> It's a free ad for you here, Shantikai. Oh, I've got a bit there, don't waste it. Oh my God, look. I'm just not going up to my hairline so I can wipe it off, but normally I would just be like all over my face, all over your eyes, all over your eyelid, all over your lips, everywhere. Oh, there's a bit left. Oh, lush. <laughs> yes, it's good for rosacea, 100%. I love it. Um, do I need anything in kit two for him? He's worried about wrinkles. Yeah, you can use everything. You can use everything. This is the, and it's, I can't tell you how cold it feels on my forehead. It's amazing. Actually, I should just do all my lives with this mask on my forehead. Uh, this is Chantepai Jasmine and Lily Healing Mask. How strong is the fragrance? Oh, really, really, just really mild. It smells fresh. Um, they don't do added fragrance. The smell is just what's in there from the plants that they use. Good for hormonal acne, yes. You don't wipe it off, you leave it on overnight. Oh, absolutely. When Alex, when I did the live with Alex, oh yeah, you can sleep in it and it's okay for blemish prone, prone skin. Um, when I did the live with Alex and she said, yeah, and then you just tissue off. And I was like, babe, I'm not tissuing this off. Yeah, you can put all your serums on first or you can just whack this on and go to sleep with it. It's 
yeah the smell is hardly there um you can leave it on overnight or okay here's the thing if you're using it as a treatment you would do your cleanse then you would just put this on and leave it right and then you can go ahead and do your normal routine if you were doing oh it doesn't smell anything like jasmine it doesn't sorry i didn't realize that was what that's what you were asking it doesn't smell like jasmine and lily at all it does not smell like flowers at all yes you can use it with zelen's vitamin d 100 percent. i would do oh, that's a good question though i would probably do i would do this first and then the zelen's vitamin d once i'd use this so not on top of it um because this will be cooling and soothing and hydrating and then the zelens will also take down the redness but also work as like a nice barrier without being clogging or a barrier this is lush yes this will be saved all i will say is once you have yes you can use this over your medicate retinols absolutely uh i'm super scent adverse especially with florals and no strong scent i promise you this is not a strong scent uh it needs to stay in the skin too good to waste i agree uh how often you use it is totally up to you can you see though it's sucking in on my kind of sunburned top of my forehead this bit here is from the car and the sunroof because i obviously had my hair back threw my spf on and you can see almost where i take it up to because of the hairline moron um yeah you could do may lindstrom problem solver and then whack this on but i warn you it's addictive yes you can use this if you have a compromised skin barrier it's lush isn't it someone said it's stupidly lovely it is stupidly lovely it's annoyingly lovely zelen's vitamin d before or after medicate do you mean medicate retinol if you mean ret retinol then it goes after but then zelen's vitamin d is an oil so i would put it pretty much after everything what are we going to say if it's open oh i don't know what was i going to say you know what i'm like people oh look a squirrel do you use a thinner layer if leaving on overnight i always use a thin layer i'm cheap i want this to last i'm not wearing any bronzer i know people keep asking i will take it off so you can see what it looks like so okay on top of retinol and go to bed yes insect bites so if you're wearing it to sleep you don't need to put anything else after cleansing no cleanse and whack this on maybe cleanse give yourself a spritz and whack this on and keep the water underneath is the main focus of this um to plump and hydrate not really it's mainly this is much for me this is much more to be calming soothing refreshing and hydrating um yes you can use it over tret um okay for 60 year olds amazing i was saying once you because once you use this you're spoilt that's what i was saying it's shantikai jasmine and lily healing mask that's what i was saying once you've used it you can use it as often as you like Yes, it's hydrating. I'm going to take off my forehead in a bit. And you can, actually, most of it can absorb. Uh, the website you can purchase Mother Dirt from is con Content Beauty or Being Content. But if you're watching this in America, then you just go to motherdirt.com. It stings me why. Now, if this stings you, then you have got a compromised barrier. Just putting that out there. So if this stings you, don't waste it. Use this until you fix your barrier and then go with this. Okay? Well, that was a lot on that, wasn't it? Um, can you tell, please tell me if you can use Luna after Good Jeans Glycolic, or am I better off using Good Jeans in the morning and Luna on its own in the evening? You can use them together. And actually, Sunday uh, does a lot of uh, info on her website. She does loads of good blog posts. You should sign up for Sunday's uh, blog posts. And so does Renee Rouleau. Renee and Sunday do really good regular blog posts. They kind of put me to shame because I've been so busy I haven't been able to blog. Um, but yeah, they talk about Sunday talks about using good jeans and Luna together and things like that. So go and have a read. This is immense. Oh, lovely. Look, Henry Lawson says I'm a slag. You kiss your mother with that mouth, mate. You can't see me now, can you, mate? Uh. Uh, you got kit two, you want this mask. Well, there's a Shantikai offer on still. Oh my God, seriously, dude. Let me just get rid of Henry Lawson, who clearly lives in his mother's basement done um luna gave you a rash possible i was using it too much yeah and also that you were using too much of it okay now let's see where we're up to 
A retinol to add into kit one for someone who hasn't used one before. This is your retinol, babe. You've got one in kit one. So don't worry. Um, this is Luna Sleeping Night Oil. I need your help. I understand nothing. And my 59-year-old skin desperately needing help. So for now, just go and um, download this ebook from my website, from the blog. Ingest the information. Ingest, digest the information. Um, and there's loads on the blog. If you are brand new to this and you've just kind of found me and you're like, I don't know what I'm doing, um, go to the blog. The blog is my home planet. And if you look at the blog on a, well, you could also buy the book. I know, thanks guys for selling it for me. You can either buy the book <laughs> or you can go to the blog and look at the cheat sheets down the side. So the cheat sheets are, have been there a lot, a long time. So go for it. But yeah, buy the book, please. Thanks. Uh, Sunday Riley Luna. This is Hydroxy Pina Cologne Retinoate. Uh, super gentle, fat soluble. That's why it's an oil. Um, oh, thank you. The book is amazing. Thank you. Um, super gentle. You do not have to. The yellow kit bag is available on its own. I'm not going off on one. I'm literally answering questions. Um, you can use it straight after cleansing. You can use it uh, underneath your moisturizer, on top of your moisturizer, however you want to do it. How's my forehead going, by the way? Is it absorbing? No, now look, because I did a layer. Can you see you're gonna get all that where it just buffs off? Bearing in mind as well that I had quite a lot of moisturizer on anyway. Let's have a look. That much left. Um, let me just do this with my tissue. I'll tissue off the excess, even though I would normally never. Hmm. Thing is, though, you don't want to take it off. Oh, lovely. Oops. Now I'm going to look like I've got bits all over my head. Right. There's your immediate glow cancer. Glow cancer. I just literally zoomed in and saw. I know you talk about Aven. I have skin cancer on my face and Aven SOS is amazing. Good. Well, I hope you're safe, but good that you found that right see look at that oh lovely lovely mm. okay i'm oh i have dyspraxia and a tutor and the book oh you have and you're a tutor and the book suits your brain brilliantly yeah do you know what i only realized when the book was put together that i write like someone with adhd that's why <laughs> um because my, that's how my brain works. Deposit words here, deposit words there. Work on this bit here, work on this column there. There you go. How do you know if there's silicone in something so it doesn't rub off? Uh, there's no silicone in Chantikai anywhere in the skincare. Nowhere. That's not silicone. That's just because my skin's actually quite well hydrated and I applied it on top of a, what I'd already done as a thick layer of moisturiser so it didn't absorb as much as it would normally. That makes sense? There's no silicone in Chantikai. That's not why those bits rubbed off. Those bits rubbed off because my skin went, yeah, I'm good, thanks. There we go. Is it too much blue tansy to use Luna with May Lindstrom's problem solver? No. Can you put Luna on your neck? Yes. Can a 20 year old use Luna? Yes. Luna or A plus for a 25 year old? Probably Luna, but you can use both. Sunday will say you can use both. Um, can you, I was demonstrating the Chantikai mask. Yes, it's now off. That's what we're left with. Nice, shiny forehead. Uh, well, at least it shows I wasn't lying when I said I wasn't wearing any bronzer. Um, can I buy Chantica at 29? Yeah, of course. And there's a code on the website. Can I use Luna at 25? Yes, Luna and Medicaid. You don't need two retinols together. Um, although Sunday will say that you can use Luna and the A plus together for a double whammy, but that's kind of products from the same family. Anyway, here is your Luna. We just now, when you rub it in, the colour disappears. Ready? You couldn't use it because of the smell. I love the smell. <gasps> Luna, a no for pregnancy, but okay for breastfeeding. Now, I'm just going to tell you something here for nothing, okay? Luna and Roaccutane. If you're on Roaccutane, don't use any topical vitamin A's unless your dermatologist tells you to. 
Where in routine for Luna? How do I use Luna with Juno? You don't need both. Too much to do P50W, vitamin C and Luna. Yeah, you don't, and that's certainly not all together. Certainly not all together. Are the kits still available? No. I'm 38, is this a starter retinol? Yeah, you, you could class it as a starter because it's gentle, but it's not inactive, like it works, but it's still gentle. Kit two, how to is tomorrow. Um, I'm just gonna take off excess because my hands are now covered. Uh, Luna on non-trek nights. You could, it wouldn't do you any harm. Just go easy if you're on trek because trek, as you know, is really, is really strong right? You don't really need to use more than one vitamin A product at the same time. I know people do, but you can, uh, but you, you don't need to. Um, questions about pregnancy and breastfeeding. You can use any vitamin A when you are breastfeeding, first of all. This, honestly, I shouldn't put that oil in my hair, should I? <laughs> no to Luna and Dermatica together. No. What is better, Luna or Tret? Tret is super strong. Luna is over the counter. Um... How long will Luna last before opening? Ages, if you don't open it. Ages. Uh, doesn't say, it's 12 months from opening, but because it's all oil-based, I'd always get into it within a year, if you could. That makes sense. Victoria Beckham is live now talking about her new clean beauty line. Clean, okay. All right, VB. Uh, why are people going acid and active crazy? I know. It's, it's fine. Um, uh, I've got kit two, and you have made me desperate for the Chantecaille mask, but they don't ship to the EU. Depends where you live. You can get Chantecaille in Europe. They're all over Europe. Depends what country you're in. So there you go. Uh, pregnancy and breastfeeding. You can use any vitamin A when you're breastfeeding. And I've said this before, mainly to calm people. Um, the only reason they tell you not to use a vitamin A when you are actually pregnant. Over the counter I'm talking about, I'm not talking about prescription or TREC or you know anything like that. Um, I'm talking about pregnancy. Is because they, there is no evidence to show that it's completely safe. But the reason there's no evidence is because no one is gonna test anything on a pregnant woman, right? Of course you're not, okay? Um, but, and the but is here for one reason. I always say that everyone I know in the industry used vitamin A. Every facialist I know used vitamin A through their pregnancy. Um, and I'm only talking about over the counter. I'm not talking about, obviously I'm not talking about Roaccutane or anything like that. That is like absolutely just never gonna happen. Don't do it, right? And I say it purely because I do not want you to have a panic if you are using something like Luna or A plus or whatever, um, and you find out that you are pregnant, do not panic. I promise you, you will be fine. Please do not go crazy. Um, is that Essie Marshmallow on your nails? No, it's something called Light Elegance Marshmallow. So, yeah, the, the real evidence is from Roaccutane, but you would never, I mean, I don't want to speak harshly, but if you had been taking Roaccutane and managed to get pregnant, you would have to have a termination. That's how bad it is. Okay? Oh, hang on a minute. Wait, I've got to read this. Just clicked on it. Just clicked on Victoria Beckham for a minute. And the first thing she said was how inspired by the Spice Girls power or something. Oh, you're not going to hear a Spice Girls song from me. Um, so that's why I'm saying if you're breastfeeding, knock yourself out. And if you don't believe me, I did a video with Dr. Emma Wedgworth, who is a fantastic dermatologist, fantastic dermatologist. And she is a, she trains other dermatologists. She was on here, um, before lockdown earlier this year. And she said, I'm very comfortable with breastfeeding people using vitamin A. I think those were almost her exact words. So knock yourselves out. How can you download the ebook? It's on my blog. So if you just go onto the blog and scroll, exactly, Roaccutane monthly pregnancy tests, like you just cannot. Um, go on the blog, scroll, you'll find the kits are here and there's a link to download the ebook. Okay?
Now, I have one more and then I will be... Uh, Mother Dirt is not for the US only. They will give it to you because they ship internationally because we had that conversation with them. Now, this one, I know you're going to think is bizarre, knowing me and knowing what I bitch about. <laughs> is Medicaid similar to drunk elephant retinol? No, Medicaid is far superior. Far superior. Uh, Charlotte's Magic Cream Light. Now, we got this. I'll tell you how we got this exactly. Um, obviously, um, yes, Luna's fine for everyday use. I'm sorry. We got this because Charlotte Tilbury has a lot of doors. Okay? And obviously, with lockdown, they had to close their stores. So when they were closing their stores, they obviously had a marketing plan in place and they had all these made for the launch of the magic cream light so i was talking to camilla who is their pr and a friend of mine and i was like because hmm. i was telling her how much i liked it and i was telling her how surprised i was that i liked it i don't you know what i'm like i don't like a moisturizer with an spf i don't like a moisturizer with lower than a 30 I and mean, it goes against all of my basically everything i say <laughs> I really like it and I think if the reason I said to him yeah let's put it in if you find it really greasy you're using too much if you find it if you find this really greasy you're using too much Medicaid Crystal 3 Luna and Sunday Riley A plus which is the strongest I would say A plus and Crystal 3 are here and Luna's here you have an eye for a good business deal <laughs> um, so the magic cream if you've used it is very heavy it's amazing yeah don't worry see I always come back I always come back in how many people is Victoria Beckham got watching like 75,000 rude um, watch my live this part two of the kits live with the meet the founders because Sunday Riley uh, who's this person uh, Danielle Fevrier she talks about how to decide between the CEO oil and serum she says if you only have to pick one get the serum but she shows you how to use both. So, magic cream. And I know one quarter past six, I'm so sorry. Um, the original is really thick, right? And the reason it's thick is because if you put magic cream, oh, she's on 4,000. Oh, I'll take half of that. Oh, three and a half thousand. I'll take that. I'm happy to be on 1,800. Hello, Rio Summers. Um, so, let me focus, please, people. Hello, Anna. See, Anna's watching me and not Victoria Beckham. Um, so I've got this, right? Let me, let me just focus, right? Now look at the texture. Let me just give you that much. The original um, magic cream is really rich. My mother is obsessed with it. She loves it because my mum has lupus. She's older, she has dry skin, okay? I am focused, thank you so much. Um, and it works brilliantly on dried out model faces, okay? So that's why Magic Cream, you put, say what you like about it, it's rich and thick. But if you put that under makeup at the right amount, just enough to give you grip, not slip, your makeup is amazing. And that's why she uses it on everyone on counter, blah, blah, blah. But for a lot of people, it's too rich, it gives you zits, okay? This is Magic Cream Light. They've done all the usual other stuff to it. They put, oh, do you know, they do all that stuff to it. All the stuff they say they put in. And I don't, I don't pay a lot of attention. Let's face it. I'll just play with the textures and see if I like them. Uh, facial moisturizer, blah, blah, blah. Hang on. Oh, it doesn't actually tell me much because it's the sample size. Anyway, this is SPF 20. So I would use this um, if I was staying at home and I was in and out of the garden but not really sitting in the garden i would use this if i was going to work and i was only exposed to outside for about 10 15 minutes and coming home in the dark that kind of thing um i'm going to show you the texture much lighter can you see much lighter and i God, the smell of this for me is borderline sexual not gonna lie don't get me carried away like you don't need this if you have a brilliant moisturizer and you have an SPF okay 
you don't need it however oh here we go spf 20 blue light pollution defense and super anti-aging is that you jonathan i think it might be but can i just show you that sheen that for me was the game changer when i put this on look at this my wedding makeup artist used the magic cream on the day of my wedding and it was not oily because they know what they're doing they know what they're doing look at that glow that's my normal hand and i kind of just wiped everything off but look at that glow sexy time look at that tilbury stuff is crap i'm shocked you've got it on i disagree liz smith clearly um so that's why i said you know what let's stick it in play with it see what you think love sh sh love charlotte magic cream but i do have very dry eczema prone skin exactly so but look at that that and the smell i mean don't get me wrong it's not full of fragrance it smells of spf which i'm addicted to i'm a weirdo i don't know what to tell you Just remember though, use it in the morning, don't sleep in it. It's really good, you used a sample from Cult Beauty. Thank you. Describe the smell, it smells of SPF. Is it okay to use nested on the same day as my retinol? Yes. Your hand skin is amazing as well as your banks. I have to say all the Charlotte Tilbury skincare I've tried, I've loved, especially the eye cream. Yeah, I'm quite a fan of the eye cream. See, Phoenix wouldn't sell me the magic cream, said I didn't need it, super impressed with their staff. I was that. Oh my God, what is that? This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream Light SPF 20. Look at that glow. I'm sorry, obsessed. Um, <laughs> Skincare Reviews UK, you need laser eyebrow wax, Botox and an eye lift. <laughs> you need a personality transplant. Skincare Reviews UK. SPF smells like summer, yes, I know. Would David Beckham bring, bring VBT? No, I don't think he would. You like the smell of fake tan, I know. So that, that is why it's in the kit. And it feels, uh, why was the magic cream light not in the kit too, in kit two? Because kit two is for a slightly dry skin. And also I could only get a certain amount of them. So I had to make a judgment call. Your makeup seems to peel the silicones. Does it have silicone in it? I don't think it does. Does it, Jonathan? I don't think there's silicone in this. What makes it light is that it's not as heavy as the original magic cream. Make sense? If Jonathan's still here, he'll jump in and tell me. With the brows, glowing high ones. Thanks guys. How high an SPF do you recommend? I like a 30 or a 50. It depends where I'm going, what I'm doing. If I'm sitting at home all day with the curtains drawn, having a hormonal moment, I ain't gonna be wearing it. <laughs> um, skincare reviews need a personality transplant. Exactly. Um, I love that you're answering questions. I spend my life answering questions. Do you have a blog post or a section in your book about seborrheic dermatitis? Um, I think I touch on it in the book. Mother Dirt, can you be used on top of SPF? I wouldn't put Mother Dirt on top of SPF because it's an oil. I would do Mother Dirt a little bit, let it absorb, and then go in with the oil. Um, anyone in the EU, not UK or Ireland, who managed to buy from Shantikai? You won't be able to buy from Shantikai's website, but you can buy Shantikai from lots of other places in the EU. So I was trying to say earlier, it depends where you're from. If you tell me, I'll tell you what country you can buy things in. Because I used to work for them, remember? Uh, Sunday Rally UK is not out yet. I will let you know. I promise you, if it comes in at six o'clock on a Sunday morning when I'm having a wee, I will let you know on stories that I'm having a wee. And that it's in. <laughs> Why would I let you know I'm having a wee? Um, yeah, I don't think... I think Jonathan might have buggered off, but I don't think it's got any silicone in oh, my hat i smell amazing i'm sorry oh sweden okay what is the name of the big department store in stockholm the big one bang in the middle i'll know it when you say it i'm pretty sure you can get shantikai there i am pretty sure shantikai is in denmark as well there you go if they're in denmark they're definitely in sweden because all of the nordic people um all of, the, all of the Nordic people, sweeping generalisation, all of the Nordic countries tend to have the same distributor. NK, that's the one, that's why I couldn't remember. NK, thank you, Martina. Um, is SPF in moisturiser enough for most indoor days 
or additional SPF still needed? Yeah, if I was inside all day, I would be fine with this. Fine. He answered, some silicones, but not the major ones. Really? I didn't see that. And it doesn't feel like it. Can you not use niacinamide and vitamin C together? Yes, you can. Lookfantastic.se has Shantikai. There you go. And Look Fantastic are always, and Space NK do it, um, Cult Beauty, um, Look Fantastic are always doing offer codes. Worry you not. Medicate Crystal 3 for a 29-year-old non-smoker don't drink. Yes, keep going. Uh, Halens, I'm not sure if they're in Halens. I like that store. I bloody love Stockholm. I haven't been to Sweden this year. I was there last year with Pixie. Do you use sunscreen around your eyes? I don't. I wear sunglasses. I have to, make, I have to wear prescription sunglasses so I can see where I'm going. But yeah. Um, would you put Luna at the end of your night routine because it's an oil? Yeah, you can put it at the end or you can just do it. You can just cleanse your face and then put Luna on. You bought the... Oh, hang on. You bought the Fenty moisturiser because you love the smell. I'm here for you. I get it. He answered... Jonathan Reynolds answered... A little bit of silicones, but coconut alkanes replace the commonly used silicones. Got it. That's why. Uh, do you have to reapply SPF every two hours when you're staying home? No. Shantikai at Nordstrom in Canada. Yes, they are. Can you use retinol when you have rosacea? Yes, but I wouldn't put it directly onto it. It depends what what type of rosacea you've got and what type of retinol you're using. Did Look Fantastic donate to Beauty Backed? Um, no, but I'm sure they're doing other things and I know they did a lot. I know they did a lot for the city of Manchester at the beginning of lockdown and after the Ariana Grande bombing and things because that's where they're based. Like I said, we've done brilliantly. I'm not here to give people a hard time. I'm just answering. Um, is it bad to put SPF around your eyes? No, just be careful because it will rise. Luna is very mild starter retinol. Yes, it's very gentle. We've got six minutes. Do you want to do a recap? Let's do a recap. You wanted to see it all in there, didn't you? It's always 6.30. When I said to my lot, oh, I'll do an hour. They're like, yeah, of course you will. There you go. Oh, Arlen. Yes, I love Arlen. I love that store. I'm smelling my bag. I know I'm a freak. Um... So, cleanse off mitt, and they're not in any order now, be too much. Luna, hyalamide, mother dirt. Don't forget what I said about mother dirt when you open it and you put it on a teeny bit. It's a proper barrier repair moisturizer. Shantikai, I'm glad you all enjoyed me whacking that on my forehead. Emma Hardy Mist, Medicate, just finished, Medicate. 3TR, shall I move to crystal three or six? Yeah, you can probably go to six. If your skin tolerated it well, obviously, if it didn't, then no. Um, Dermalogica, vitamin C, eye cream. We love this. We also discussed how much we love the smell of this, all of us. Okay, Zellens, PHA pads, uh, and Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream Light. What do you do if you realize that you forgot to put on SPF after you put your makeup on. Well, I have this. So I keep one of these. Okay, SPF 50 spray. And then, um, depends what you're doing and how long you're going to be out for and how long you're going to be out in the sun for. And get a hat. So I'm going to put these away. I'm going to pack up my desk and get ready for tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is kit two. And then the charity talks that we couldn't do, we are gonna, the team are trying to reschedule now. And it wasn't us, it was that the charities, and obviously if they're needed in the charity, that comes first, right? So they'll, they'll see us when they can. Um, I save all the lives. I don't mean I actually save people's lives. I mean, I save these videos. Let me just put this in the bottom and make it a bit neater. Is it normal you've received a confirmation number but not a tracking? Yeah, the tracking comes when it's shipped, I think from memory. Do you have to wear sunscreen if you wear a really big hat? <laughs> yes, because it bounces off the pavement, my dear. That was kit one. Lush, eh? Oh, I left out my cleanser. I left out my cleanser for me. Um, so, three minutes. Marvellous. <laughs> um, I will see you tomorrow. Uh, I won't wear a stripy top. I will have a bun in and I won't be wearing any makeup again because I cannot be bothered. It's too hot, our office is too hot. I can't rub creams all over my face if I'm wearing loads of makeup, can I? Freaking love the bag, we love the bag too. And we have uh, 
other things coming. It's probably the best way to say it. We have other things coming. Um, hoping to see some skin ingredients in the future. The bag is huge. Would there be any handbag size coming? No, because I don't do a handbag size kit. And there are loads that you can get. So I, um, I just went big. <laughs> um, I'll see you all tomorrow. Be nice to each other, won't you? Well, I can't say that because it sounds like Ellen and Ellen's not having a great time, is she? Uh, I'm going to tell you about the full kit next week. I'm going to tell you limited things about the full kit next week. Please remember to not use wipes after those stats I gave you earlier. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to go home and eat dinner. Please hold off on other things until my bank balance can cope. You have over two months. I can tell you that. You have over... What, what's the date? What's the date? Be the 21st, 20th? You have over two months, but not three months. There you go. That's like your first hint, right? I'm going to go and see what Victoria Beckham's doing. I'm going to see how many times she says the word clean in five minutes. Um, have a lovely evening. I will see you tomorrow. Adios.